Tap an already active tool and select a watercolor brush from the basic tools section. With pressure sensitivity, you can control the intensity of your strokes by applying more or less pressure with your stylus. Additionally, tilt sensitivity allows you to achieve wider strokes by tilting the stylus. The thing that makes the watercolor brush interesting is that strokes will blend together. You can best see the effect when changing colors to create a wash. In case you want to blend the edge of the stroke without adding any color, just set the opacity to 0%, or draw very lightly, and it'll act similar to just adding water to your brush. When you don't want strokes to blend, just create a new layer, and you'll get a similar effect as if you'd let the first layer dry out. You can also do this after the fact by selecting any strokes and moving them to another layer. Here I've used it to color some perfume bottle sketches, and combined it with a marker, fill tool, and airbrush to get the illusion of glass material. The cool thing about digital watercolor is that you can always add lighter tones on top of darker ones, which wouldn't work with physical ones.